All right, YouTube, got my guy Kurt in the building. We about to do a live voiceover. What kind of cut you gonna get? Uh, get a two. Two? Yeah, okay. against the green. No, with the green. With the green? Taking it down low? Yeah. Okay, bet. How about the feed this time? What you wanna do with it? Like, just taper it a little bit. Taper it? Yeah. Okay. Bet. So I'm gonna start off by picking his hair out. He's gonna get a two with the green. Picking the hair out just exposes all the growth patterns. We're gonna start at his crown, cut it down from there. That way we don't make it harder than it already needs to be. Picking the hair out will also show the true length of the hair instead of it being compressed to his scalp. Got my magic clip. I'm gonna go with the green, making our entry point near the crown. And why I like to start at the crown is because that's the hardest part you're gonna have to cut. Might as well knock out the hardest part so everything else is easy. I'm going with the green. My lever's open so I don't cut it too short. And notice I'm combing while I cut. Just so we can go back and catch any curl that may have been matted down hiding under the hair. As you can see, this is the crown. I'm gonna go this way, combing it while I do it. This side, same thing. Being light on his corners right here, kind of grazing it so that we don't take it lower than what it needs to be. Once again, combing while I cut. As you can see, the two is the perfect length because it leaves my client with enough hair to start with to jump start him. You know, a one would be too low. He would have to wait. Two and a half is a perfect length, especially for his texture. And we're gonna slightly close the lever just to smooth it over. Don't start with your lever closed because it will cut shorter than what you intended. But if you start with your lever open and then eventually close it cutting it down safely as you can see this is the perfect one we are going to add some foam in his hair just to get him started with waves and that's really going to make the texture pop now that the hair is all brushed down, we're going to start on a taper. As you can see, he has a weak C cup. So we're going to keep the taper kind of like a mid mid to low taper. I'm going to set my first guy line in. So when dealing with someone with, with a lighter C cup, you want to protect it. Set my first guy line in very small, half inch. I'm going to drop down and halfway. Close. Grab my one guard, lever open. Close. Gonna grab my zero guard, halfway. Using my corner, fully closed. Using the full blade, flicking out. Two. Close it. One and a half guard, fully closed, just to save us some time. I'm gonna grab our one, open it. Work our corner. Now you're gonna grab your zero gapped clipper. Lever is fully open, but I'm closing it. Work off these bottom lines. Lever open, rake this part down, and it's blended. So we're gonna fade the beard in. I'm gonna grab the three guard. Switch to the two, using our corner of the guard. Switching to our one, and this is where the fade really comes together. You can kind of finesse with the one, because you can open the lever and that extends the blade even more to give you more room to work with. Now I have no guard. Lever is fully open and I'm flicking out. Now the Magic Clip blade is a bit more aggressive, so I'm gonna have to go back, throw my zero arm, touch up that in-between area between the one. Grab our trimmer, flick out the top. And most times my clippers can't get out the, the faded beard, so I go back with my trimmers with the corner, but I stretch the client's skin because the beard grows differently than the hair. As you can see, let's blend it. And even right here, I'm gonna stretch the skin. I'm gonna move on to the back, set our guideline in. If you want a discount on these clippers, you can use my promo code, the fourth Ken, for 10% off. If anyone's interested, save some money on clippers and any other tools by style craft. We're gonna grab our magic clip again. These clippers are very convenient. Open the lever up, gonna extend it about a full inch. And right under that, we're gonna close it fully, an inch at that guideline. Just take slight jabs at it. Open it up a little bit, take another jab, and this is gonna knock the line out halfway. So close, three quarters. Halfway, the line's gone. I'm gonna have to drop back down to do some detail work. But same thing with our one, fully open. Drop down, fully closed. Now to save time, we're gonna grab our zero guard, come in halfway and get out this guy line right after we just created it. That way we can see the rest of our blend clearly and it's not gonna trip us up. My lever is fully closed now, that's blizzed out. I'm gonna move on swiftly. I'm gonna grab our two. We're just gonna close the lever right away. Go up about half an inch. Right over that, you're gonna open it, kind of scoop out towards the top. Closing our lever when need be. Now we're gonna grab our 1.5 and go with the green. Flip it back around, fully closed. Now we're gonna open it. And this isn't gonna do much, just playing it safe, halfway. 
closed again. And we're gonna grab our one again and flick this line out. As you can see, that guideline's still there. So we're gonna grab our 0.7 guard, which is this guard. And this should solve that issue very easily. Cutting hair is all about problem solution. We identify the problem, we quickly solve it. Lever fully open, using the corner. To prep the lineup, I'm gonna go one guard closed behind the ear open above it, following the natural neckline, but not keeping it too natural to where it's not noticeable. Nice and clean, I'm gonna dust them off, move on to the next side. Now I probably will have to touch this up again after the foam, but regardless, it's sharp. Now for this side, you see he has a weird growth pattern right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. One close, same thing, open above that. Notice how I'm holding his ear, holding his ear down so it doesn't get in the way and we can take care of business quickly and swiftly. Making sure that line is nice and sharp. Look at that, nice and clean. Now we're gonna get started with the foam. I'm gonna take a two to his line real quick before we add the foam. Make sure you're constantly dusting your client off to make sure that he's comfortable. Now we're gonna add the foam. Now we're gonna brush, brush the foam in. I'm gonna switch the brush that I'm using. Now we're gonna add the do-rag and then blow dry it again while we do his beard. This is gonna allow the moisture to really seep deep into the scalp to really lay the waves down. For the beard, make sure it's all combed out. I'm gonna lean my client back while I do his jawline. Straight razor, gonna stretch his skin, come straight down. This side, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Same thing with this side with the razor. For the mustache, he likes to keep the whiskers. So we just line up the inside. As you can see, you can already see the waves coming in. So this is the lineup we have to work with. As you can see, his lineup is naturally higher on one side. So we're gonna comb it out and match the C-cups up, even though they are uneven. So what I'm gonna do first, grab a little neck strip, apply some alcohol to wash off the excess foam, because the foam is a little bit of a moisturizer. Although it's a healthy moisturizer, we still don't want that on. Once that's applied, I'm gonna apply our liquid razor. I'm gonna blow dry that in with cold air. I'm gonna get started in the middle. And I constantly check back to make sure that we're going in the proper direction that we need to. Start on the vertical bars. For enhancements, we're gonna enhance it. I'm gonna line my card up. And I have my enhancements purposely set to where I have to hold it for it to really spray a lot. <laughs> I didn't think you was gonna catch it, so. <laughs> I don't know what it is about being at the barber, bro. I always fall asleep. That's why I have to cut my own hair. I, I, I can't. You can get a full night and you're just gonna still fall asleep. Exactly. I think it has something to do with psychology because like trust mm -hmm. and then the tools, the sounds, yeah. it puts you to sleep, you know, yeah. that extra noise. Like noise and all that, yeah. yeah. Now what we're going to do is kind of add a little bit of pencil right to just the vertical bar. Just a tad. I can barely notice it. And once I do that, I grab my razor, stretch the skin. I hit it real quick. And boom. Flip it, stretching the skin, but not too much. Don't stretch it too much. Stretching the skin. And as you can see, he still has some loose hair. So we're gonna go back with our clipper and just do a quick freehand. Stretching the skin once again. We're gonna freehand trim it. And that's the cut. We're gonna trim it with our magic clips just cause they're set very close and precise. Being careful not to patch them. You can easily patch if you don't take your time and let the clipper gouge them. Glide on the waves. Don't add too much pressure. with the lower side. Nice and evenly. It's balanced, C-cups are balanced, hairline's balanced. 
This is a symmetrical hairline. New look. Just a finished result.